Skål, Gutte. Skål. Skål. Pour yourself a drink. It's Tipsy Wednesday. An original podcast presented from the Penthouse Bar. With us, as usual, our host and editor, uh, Björn. Hello. <laughs> and our host and in-house villain, Junior. Hello, hello. And last but not least, our host, social media manager and uh, introducer, Thomas. Hello. <laughs> yes, back again. Uh, social medias. Let's do that first. I actually have some right off the ones. bat. Yes, we usually do that. First off, I shared a little video of how to eat a pineapple pizza. Uh, that would be on our Facebook group, Tipsy Wednesday. So go check that out. If you eat pineapples on your pizza, you need to see this. It's the only <laughs> way. Uh, of course, it was the International um, Women's Day. Uh, a couple of days ago, a week ago now, uh, and of course we are all for uh, equality, so uh, in honor of uh, International Women's Day, we are offering free breast exams at the penthouse bar tonight. Yes. I mean, it's not a one-time <laughs> offer. <laughs> <laughs> the offer stands. You're always, wel <laughs> you're always welcome to get a breast check. <laughs> Uh, <coughs> of course, I wrote uh, here at Tipsy Wednesday. We're all about equality, and today is uh, today is eighth uh, of March, the International Women's Day. Congratulations to all the women out there. Uh, best wishes, Tipsy Wednesday. Also, I posted a little joke. Why haven't uh, we sent uh, women to the moon yet? It doesn't need cleaning. <coughs> well, it needs a lot of cleaning, you know. Yeah, all the really space dust. <laughs> it really does. They can, yeah, they moving can on, very moving each. on. <laughs> and finally, I got to share the pictures, both on Facebook and on Instagram, of the stuff we've done in show and tell thus far, um, which is four items each. Um, so those are there for you to check out, and that would be it. Please check them out. <laughs> well. <laughs> I ca Oh my fucking god. Oh. And hmm? of course we released um, episode 48, uh, Junior's uh, Magical Poop Race. Uh, yeah. No, it's just that you keep tagging me on Facebook on uh, each of the items. I imagine this will get up at work. No, no, it was one post with all of your items, plus Bjorn's items, plus my items, uh, plus a long fucking text. Yeah, okay. on, 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 on Facebook though, on Instagram I showed off your four items and text for you and yeah, for Bjorn. And yeah, I, I can imagine I'm getting called out this week and I will remember to write it down. I did, it, did this the 9th, so you should have been at work a couple of days after this released, yes. Yeah, I haven't been called out yet. Give them time. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was uh, social medias. Uh, and last week, I forgot to... Um, <coughs> one of our listeners had uh, asked something. Because two episodes ago, you said uh, Putin has done uh, good things for uh, Russia. Fuck, I was supposed to research more about this. Because <laughs> it, it's really hard these days to find something good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I got asked, what the fuck have Putin done that is good? He's stealing from his people and he might be the richest man alive because of it. He, he might uh, be. Uh, yeah, because yeah, no okay. one knows his actual wealth. Uh, but it's suspected he might be the richest man alive today. Well, he got a more country. He got more country. Yeah, he got the the island of Krim. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think that's a good thing. <laughs> that's that's a good thing for the Russian people. That's a good thing for Putin. Well, the thing is that the Russian people doesn't want to associate with Putin. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been through and through with that topic. Yeah. Uh, Dictator Putin is uh, running a dictatorship. 
Pretty much. Uh, yeah. Well, he brought the GDP up. No, no it's down again. <laughs> <laughs> I said before big, this big, happened. Big yeah, because of Putin. <laughs> <laughs> well, everything mm, he has done, he has now undone. If he did anything good, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's of now course. undone. <laughs> but from 2006 to 2014, he doubled the GDP, more than double it. Yeah. That's something. That well, is something. similar to a certain German dictator in the 40s. 30s up till the 40s. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty much <laughs> so, the same uh, <coughs> at the moment. So, uh, you no, know, but c- can you not say that you're benefiting from the Autobahn today, Germans? And we <laughs> we got the whole fucking train line. I yeah, suppose well, out of everything look- evil, there's bound to be some good, right? If you just nitpick all the good things out of a bad situation, you're bound to find something good. <laughs> like, looking at a car accident where everyone died, it's like, oh, at least we reduce our overpopulation a bit. Yay! <laughs> no, but <laughs> like- <laughs> no, but the Autobahn was really good for the German people, Want you agree on that part. Perhaps, yeah. perhaps, oh. but that too, in comparison, it seems like looking for good things amongst the the grander scheme of bad things. So, if you uh, compare yeah, the good and the bad, is. I think the bad would go way up. And yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but the o- <laughs> yeah, but the autobahn was done before he invaded Poland, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's like having Jesus Christ did some good things, right? Yeah, mm. supposedly. Yeah, but <laughs> uh, no, but it's not right. But uh, Abraham Lincoln did something good, didn't he? Perhaps. Yeah, well, he, uh, he owned a slave. Good on him. Until he uh, until he abolished the slavery. So you can say he was a bad person for owning a slave, even though he abolished the whole thing of slavery, right? Maybe. Maybe. No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> we get what you mean, though. There there are good things and bad things, but uh, I still stand by my opinion. The, the bad things outweigh the good at some point. Yeah. <laughs> well, of course. But yep. you need to understand <laughs> why the people is behind Putin at Till this point. Mm, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Except he probably cheated in his last election. No no surprise there, <laughs> but that's a whole other topic of discussion. Um, yes, but let's just are we do... Go, are we moving on to something else? No, let's do the news <laughs> update first. Okay, okay. Because we are a podcast and we deliver news. Ish. And have you heard uh, the latest uh, old news uh, resurfacing uh, (laughs) about Putin? They say he might be sick, deadly sick. Like uh, cancer and uh, dementia or whatever. Uh, And you've seen the the long table talks you've had with other presidents? Uh, Not a lot of them, no. But you have seen a picture of it. The white yeah, yeah. table with he and Macron. The huge ass it's, uh, <laughs> table. It's because he's a- probably afraid of getting the COVID for some reason. Is this mm. speculation? Yeah, yes. Of course. Uh, it's uh, like the top security people within the USA and NATO and stuff. So at this point, it's a conspiracy. Yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, but they looked at. Um, at him and at his actions and behavior pattern over the, uh, the last years. Uh, and they've said that over the last five years, he r- he's really changed and he's become more grayish in the face and more bloated and whatnot. He's just catching up. Probably. Yeah, is. I guess. Um, a a but, minor factor. <clears throat> but Maybe. some of them um, speculated that he might be doing some steroid treatment. Probably. Mm. Uh, as a result of cancer or something, um, which would cause him to uh, get like the the steroid uh, um, uh, angry, like people who do steroids get. Uh, oh yeah, very the, moody the short and... temper and very yeah. Yeah, yeah, 
so, so that might explain some of his behavior now. His more erratic behavior. Uh, oh yeah. His decision making <laughs> and uh, there, there's a whole lot of stuff uh, I read about it today, though. A lot of theory crafting. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, Ima imagine but... if Ukraine is saved by cancer. <laughs> 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 that would be something. <laughs> then even cancer did something good. D didn't see that coming. <laughs> but, uh, well, there's good in all potentially bad things. Even cancer can have something good about it. <laughs> potentially. Yeah. So, so Putin might be sick. <clears throat> There's a speculation from, uh, <clears throat> from psychologists and um, top internal security whatever people like the CIA and whatnot <clears throat> the special branches <laughs> of different countries yeah well maybe maybe <clears throat> so so there's that uh, but these rumors have surfaced before uh, and now they are regaining popularity mm. yeah <clears throat> so. I think it's a long shot <clears throat> yeah well it might be well but... it's might be worth to keep in mind at least not to uh spread this as fact but uh, keep it in mind Just uh, it's a theory back of your head <laughs> oh. um, mm. but before we move on from uh, this tragic wait. topic of Ukraine. wait 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 you if he more. dies of cancer Ukesnit said it first tips is Wednesday we <laughs> brought the news <laughs> first to you I just said I read that of another yeah. article so. <laughs> So that would be false even now. Yep. So, <laughs> but if you, as a listener, heard it here first, then congratulations! Props. <laughs> congratulations props to Wednesday <laughs> um, for bringing uh, you these news. <laughs> a uh, well recited sight, Tipsy Wednesday, <laughs> <laughs> bringing all your facts and information right to you. Uh, but I also read um, something about. Um, what uh, the NATO General Secretary uh, Jan Stoltenberg uh, said, and others also have said, uh, they think no, maybe no, maybe it was the Polish president who said it. Uh, mm, Zelensky. Uh, <clears throat> he's not the president. No of Polish Poland. president. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> um, don't remember his name, uh, but uh, they have said if if Russia use uh, nukes or uh, like those chemical weapons uh, of mass destruction. Or something, mm -hmm. uh, NATO will probably get involved. Well, of course. Yeah. Well. Yeah. That. that <laughs> so that that's the final line. That, that's uh, the line we're currently at. Mm. Uh, I get uh, nukes, but they have what they call tactical warheads, which are small nukes. Uh, <laughs> but still, <laughs> yeah. they do a lot of damage, uh, and, and uh, the post possibility of uh, radiation reaching other countries uh, beside Ukraine also probably increases the chances of NATO getting involved yeah. for that reason. So, so that's um, the, the line we draw if um, if, like, if we get affected by anything It's speculated that uh, Russia cannot hold a prolonged war because of spare Not parts. Not at this rate. No, because of spare parts. Do you know who makes the spare parts for all their uh, guide I systems? Know, Ch China. Germany! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hope uh, the sanctions involves not giving spare parts for the tanks and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. So they got so a limited supply <laughs> of um, those vehicles who can fire the tactical nukes. But... Um, Putin have said that Russia will come uh, stronger out of this. Uh, the Russians will mm. endure. And that's easy to say if you're one of the richest people alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but and you have a you bunker heard... and everything. <laughs> haven't you seen on Twitter all the OnlyFans girls and the Twitch thoughts? They are gathering to rally and now escaping in Russia. Yeah, I saw the top of an article, but I didn't read into it. I I'm clueless about this. What what's this all about? They cannot get paid for the work, so they are escaping Russia. You know the banks, oh. the Swift payment and Visa and Mastercard and whatnot. Uh, not allowed in Russia anymore. So Russian only fans and patrons and stuff can't get paid. 
Well, that's uh, <laughs> uh, an just, unfortunate side effect. I just saw so one. now, so now you cannot only adapt in Ukraine. You can adapt adopt a uh, Russian as well. A, a Russian only fan girl. <laughs> that's a catch. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, not to be sexist, we can adopt the Russian OnlyFans boys as well. As long as they make money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, it's a possibility. You do, you, Bjorn. You do, you, Bjorn. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have one of the girls. <laughs> uh, I just read uh, an article, um, like just a top line of the article uh, right before we started. And it was some Russians, probably, who have escaped Russia for Finland or something, because they do, they do that now. A lot of Russians escape Russia. Uh, and then the article said, uh, listen to the stories who no one dares tell. Mm. Or something. And I was like, how can I listen to a story no one's telling? <laughs> 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 well, obviously, they dared to tell it. Not in Russia. Yeah, when they well, when they got to another country, they told the stories. Yeah. The stories. yeah. Did, uh, did you see now that everyone is want to join NATO? Uh, Russia and Sweden. No, no. Finland and Sweden wants to join NATO, right? <laughs> yeah, I wonder why. But didn't I wonder. they just say no? I don't know if they got denied, but I said no. They didn't get denied. They didn't apply. I think the Swedish. Uh, political, uh, whatever. Yeah. Uh, said no. Not at this time. Is it big? What? Not because uh, Russia, Russia told, uh, hold on, Finland, Sweden. If you join NATO, it would be ugly. If yeah, he's been warned them. For, he's done that for a long time. And um, and you see what happened to Ukraine <laughs> when they were supposed to join. <laughs> Yeah, but he can't afford uh, to fight on more fronts. He's already struggling so much in Ukraine. He, he can't afford no, to is, pick is, on two is other is countries. Is he struggling, though? It's they uh, caught his plan. It was supposed to be 15 days. Yeah, those days are over. <laughs> Long By how long. much? No. Is well, it? Uh, yeah, 15. Well, we, we, can't we, speak, we can't speak for more than our the date of our current recording. So we are like three we don't weeks know in now, happen. I think, and yeah. they have not made as much progress as they were supposed to do within the 15 days. Because uh, Ukraine keeps uh, getting uh, new equipment and new stuff from NATO and EU and whatever, all the time now. Uh, also, Putin said, um, or not Putin, but one of Putin's men said that um, the supply line might be a target now. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Is a weak belly of an of an army. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except Russia doesn't get their own uh, <coughs> supplies uh, around in within uh, Ukraine. So. So I just wonder <coughs> what will happen. We say the the line where NATO gets involved is when he decides when Putin decides to use weapons of mass destruction in Ukraine. But what if? Putin decides to attack a German German convoy of military equipment to the Ukrainians in Ukraine, let's say. But it's a German convoy of it's a train or a tr trucks or something. I don't think Is that yeah. does that no. qualify as well? No, no, mm. because you're not you're on foreign <coughs> soil. Mm. Mm. He has to step outside the boundary of. <clears throat> of Ukraine, then. Yeah, I okay, imagine well, that I just... because because <coughs> because then you can send kamikaze fighters. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then, oh we, fuck! <clears throat> we, we kind of have because volunteers. <laughs> yeah, but those are volunteers. They're not in. We cannot apply them for the state, right? No, no, we can't. But uh, we have people there as well now fighting as volunteers. Yeah. Well, I have nothing to add to that. It's no, just... I <laughs> had one more thing, but it kind of fell through. <laughs> I forgot. Ah, oh, well. Never mind. They are, specul they are speculating it's getting a more bloody war now, because 
I think all the conscripts are getting laid off or <laughs> killed. So now the veterans are coming true. No, but they didn't send conscripts. Putin said so. <laughs> oh, no, that's right. Because everything P Putin says is fact. They yeah, did not yeah. attack civilian targets. That's what? what he is said. This, is this fake news? <laughs> what? Yeah, that's fake oh news. God. And fake news are banned in Russia. <laughs> fake news! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Censorship and pro propaganda. Yeah, it's yep. finest. It isn't really fine though. <laughs> but yeah, <clears throat> are we going to uh, move on to some uh, yes, nicer let's topics? Move on to something funnier, like dating profiles again. Ooh. Um, because I was wiping the other day, as I do. On the old Tinder roo. Yep. <clears throat> Came across a profile. With two pictures, a picture of a dog, and a picture of a plate of food. <laughs> and that's it? And no text, no nothing. That's it. Well, uh, <laughs> did you like this? If I did that, <clears throat> how many girls would like me? Do you think? If uh, I shared a plate, if I shared, shared a picture with, uh, of a plate of food and this golf bag or something that I care about. <laughs> Do you think many well, girls would swipe uh, right on me? With considering how few, how few girls do swipe <laughs> on a decent looking, just average guy at all. And then saying, I wonder how many would swipe of just a dog and a plate of food. <laughs> it's like, you just, nah, that's <laughs> dude, just say you earned six figures. Hmm. <laughs> you think that's the main? Uh, it's like well, no picture, if you just a just a plate of a of a nice steak or something, and just a nice your salary steak <laughs> and a line and a line of coke. That that's the thing, <laughs> though. Uh, <laughs> uh, when when I saw this profile, I was like, because the name there wasn't a name even; it was just one letter. <laughs> what? Mm. <laughs> because you have need to have some some name yeah, when yeah, you yeah. make the profile. Um, so, I don't know, is this an actual girl? Is it a fake profile? Is it a dude who's just sharing some other stuff? Or is it a transgender? Because you don't know. You, you need the name and you need to see the person. Or at least have some information in the profile. The only yeah, thing I get from this is that the person started with an M. Probably. The person has a dog or likes dogs. And the person mm. eats food. This <laughs> I know. <laughs> Yeah, but didn't you get intrigued? Didn't you feel you have to need you you need to know more of this storyline of this listen, dog? Li <laughs> listen, I'm all about food. I love food. Um, th this was green food, only green food. That's uh, that says to me it's a vegan or a vegetarian mm. at the very least. Um, also, uh, I'm known for my love for dogs when they're not near me at all. <laughs> 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 so, so no, I didn't get intrigued. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I love that's a dogs. no, and that's a no, and that's a no. I love for it dogs. Dog, are, are, plate of green around. food, and no, just M. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Person Couldn't get a dogs. harder no than that. <laughs> no on all aspects. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, uh, but it's, it's not only that. But some people just have a black picture. Oh yeah. D don't even bother with anything. I wonder if that's a bug or it's a, a deliberate thing that people do. They upload a just blank picture. It, it's something people do, I think. I wonder if, if that has any success rate. Because as I think we know, guys get less success on dating sites than girls. So do you think the fact that it says girl on the profile, it warrants success by default and the picture doesn't matter as long as it's a girl profile you I think don't... that it works at all do you think those people get any likes they get some some people do get intrigued like that's that's mind-boggling I, like... I have liked some of those people 
a couple of times, but that's that have been when they have added some text. Yes, there's at least some. No, no, no. Other they, they, interesting. They didn't, they didn't give personal text, personal information, nothing. It was just, do you dare swipe right? And I was like, this is a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, well. Of course, that's my right. But other than that, no. Uh, generally, I don't like pictures if I don't see the person, don't know anything about what they like or nothing about them. It's a total enigma. <laughs> I want to know at least yeah. a little something. Yeah. Preferably a whole lot in one or two sentences. Preferably. Yeah. But um, yeah. that's uh, that's a rarity as well. It is. People actually write something in their profile. At least for a guy looking at girl profiles. I don't know the other way around. You just need to is get that intrigued. No. Is that a worthy exper worthy experiment? Just create not to deliberately catfish someone, but make a girl profile and find some <laughs> some pictures, some legal, some stuck uh, stock images that's legally allowed to be used anywhere, and just make a fake profile just to see the different girl side experience. <laughs> I guess. Well, Isn't that kind of be catfishing someone? <laughs> it yeah, is catfishing, well, but it, it long, has been yeah. done. It has been done a lot. Oh yeah, I, I, yeah, actually, did I mention in the other podcast? What? Tinder? No, uh, no, no. Some some girl uh, had tried uh, her her friend, her male friend, her buddies. Uh, tinder profile she got access to it just to see what that dating experience was like this uh attract uh, attractive girl lending an average looking guy's profile and trying it for a few days and she was like at the end of the third or fourth day she was uh, so discouraged she didn't want to use it anymore even though it wasn't her profile because out of the few matches she got she just had responses of like one or two word sentences like yes no basic responses like <clears throat> the girls she matched with wasn't even interested she was like like come on girls aren't you supposed to show any interest it's like no that's uh, this is the guy's experience the guy <laughs> has to prove his worth to impress the lady to make her interested, and she's but just know how supposed to, impress to beautiful girls. You send them a dick selectively dick. choose yes! her her male mate. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's the uh, male dating experience for you there. So <laughs> it's a hard life being a man. Yeah, man, 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 complaining. <laughs> that, 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 man, that, man, 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 man. And that's man. why. That's why women get one day, yeah. International Women's Day. Well, we have the rest. I think that that joke has been play, outplayed so long ago. Yeah, but I haven't. They belongs them. to the women. The rest is ours, or something like that. Yeah, yeah except uh, Valentine's like, Day uh, is also for the girls mostly. It's just an yeah. expensive day for a man when you're dating someone. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. But have we talked? Well, we have we talked about that before uh, Valentine's Day uh, in Japan. That's the way it should be. There it is the way it should be. On Valentine's Day, girls give stuff to the men, not the other way around. The man doesn't give the girl anything. Just a piece of his D. Wasn't that? Isn't that the exact same thing, but the other way around? Like, yes. isn't that? At that point, a no, no, <laughs> no, a don't girl's you got... uh, problem. A girl's e uh, uh, yeah, but uh, <laughs> but uh, you got like s opposite day of Valentine's Day also. Yes, where they reverse the role. One month later, they have White Day. Yes, White Day. <laughs> white Yay! Day. White Day. Yeah, that's fourteenth I've... of March. Uh, that would be tomorrow by the day of this recording. Uh, then what? it's the man's turn. And he has to give the girl something, which is more expensive than what he got from the girl. 
Okay. Well. <laughs> yeah, but we're, we're, this is in Japan, just, though. This, this is, is in Japan. Japan. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. So, uh, but somehow the girl is the um, the girl who needs to take initiative. You know. <laughs> what? <laughs> Having yeah, because uh, <laughs> sounds oh. like. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. But uh, the girl needs to take the initiative, right? Because yeah, yeah, the man yeah. only needs to give the present to the girl he got it from. Yes. Usually. Yes. Uh, usually. Mm. Yeah, that, that's the good thing. Is it uh, put all, m- most of the pressure on the girls in the first place. And then on white day, men just react to that. As it should be. Bless you, Bjorn. <laughs> yeah, I had to take a sneeze. I even I think I muted the microphone. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well. Anything else on dating? Uh nothing that comes to mind. No. Shall we do the show and tell of this week? We can. Yeah. I want to start out with this one, because it's not uh, much of a show, mostly a tell. Do you know what uh, this is? Yeah, it's USB-C? A, it's a for- phone charger. Yeah, it's a USB-C port. USB-C cable. Yeah. Do you know what? Yeah. Let me see here. This end is... iPad. Focus. Trash. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is the other end of the same cable. It's the Thunderbolt end. What? You know is which company? USB C to Thunderbolt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Do you know what this purpose is? Charge your fucking iPhone. Yeah, its sole purpose is to charge Apple products. What? You no need... other company. No other company uses this port. It's just Apple. The rest of the world uses this standard right now, but Apple, for some fucking reason, is still using this. By now, inferior Thunderbolt port, which they claim it's because they can make their phones more slim, more sleek looking. While in reality, it is because they don't want to change their technology. They don't want to spend money to change to this different, newer standard, USB-C. And what do you do when you break your phone charger cable? Well, you buy a new Apple lightning phone charger cable and then they get a little bit more money from the cable that just breaks because it easily breaks and <laughs> has, yeah it's it's just a fucking mess so now but was that the same or at cable? least yeah it's the same cable just an ad- adapter from usb-c there yep. to Whoa. thunderbolt <laughs> where does the lightning. usb-c part go uh yeah in a usb-c apple charger Bring that as well. Give me a second. No, no, no. Hold on. That's bullshit. Okay. <laughs> Thomas just left. What's going on? Yeah, because I, I, wanna... I... You see this? Uh, yeah, but that's bullshit. That's a wall adapter. Yeah, but see? that's bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what's, uh, what's on the other end here? USB-C. It's a USB-C. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because... but that's bull- Fucking Apple. <laughs> yeah, but that's well, bullshit. But, but USB-C by default uh, can charge faster than normal USB-A unless it's a specially made USB-A port of some sort. Yeah, but, but and that's... a USB-A cable that handles the, ex- the increased power. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, but hold on. I got an iPad and it uses, of course, it uses Thunderbolt, but to USB-A. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so I can charge it with any of my chargers. Yeah, it, like yeah. everything should be. But Apple likes to use the proprietary products, so when it breaks, you have to buy a new one, which happens to be conveniently sold by Apple. So they get a little bit more money for the shitty things that they make that break. Therefore, uh, by September 2021, uh, the European Commission put forth a proposal, uh, a press release, uh, I quote, a press release that would require smartphone manufacturers to use a standard USB-C charging port on all devices in the EU, but, at least. No, no, but hold on. It's not just 
Apple, you know? Oh, this it's is all, but... Yeah, all yeah, but... Uh, but you got the company. That's far beyond... No, it's closer to your heart than you imagine. Okay. Tesla. They do the same thing all over in the States. With USB-C? No, it's oh, it's a car with the charging. <laughs> car charger. Oh, yeah, with the charging <laughs> plugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's an American thing. You are getting more things that you hate. You're becoming <laughs> that's, hate that's itself. That's a good thing about Europe. Because Europe says, no, we they own, need they standards. Own, they Therefore, only Europe has thing. implemented standards. The only thing good about you. Yes. And I like that EU has forced Apple now and Tesla to follow the European plug standard for their charging devices. Yeah. But hold on, it's the only so good no, thing. So no, I'm not fanboying over either Apple or Tesla. I'm glad that they have to follow European standard because that's the common sense thing. Because good. they want to milk you out of the all the money they can. But uh. the European Commission says no, thankfully. So, going forth, iPhone 14 and 15 for sure will be charging with USB-C. And, I shit you not, I bet Apple will say this change is for innovation. It's to change, it's to follow the times. That's how they will market it. But in reality, <laughs> it's because they lost the court case by, uh, called no, but, with no, the but, European Commission. <laughs> no, but do, like, they, do you imagine they will keep... The old standard in USA. If they need to change mm, for production, to accommodate, if they need to, I think they will. I think they will change. make a like worldwide change because Do they it. won't be making two different standards. Yeah, but to Tesla does profits. Tesla does. Well, perhaps it's a bit different for products of that price compared to Apple products. <laughs> Well, maybe. Because you're you're comparing a car to a phone, right? Yeah, it's, I, I don't know the intricacies of that balance, but... I, yeah. I imagine they will make a shell, like the phone case, that you can use... Uh, they can easily swap out. And it will keep the Thunderbolt back in the USA and change it to USB-C here in the European States. I, am, I imagine the profit I, I margin. I hope not. I hope not. I, but uh, I imagine the profit margin is so high. Well, based on the cost they earn by extra cables and extra chargers that are lightning. Uh, how can I say it? Lightning chargers with the the Thunderbolt connector. It's like the extra profit they make out of that might warrant them to make. Uh, a USA or American mod or a worldwide model with a Thunderbolt plug and a European model with uh, USB-C. I hope not, but I hope it'll be worldwide USB-C, but mm. who the fuck knows. At least in Europe, from the later iterations of iPhone 14 and from iPhone 15 and on, they will be USB-C. In Europe. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I don't <laughs> care about the USA. I just uh, <laughs> we yeah. live in Europe. But 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 yeah, but yeah. Heed, heed my words. Apple will market it as keeping up with the times, moving technology forward, and not because they lost the court case. <laughs> we lost, we lost a court case, so now we present so to now you <laughs> USB-C, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the new innovation, <laughs> USB-C. <clears throat> uh, just a quick side note, uh, speaking of EU, I saw that some of the Norwegian political um, parties uh, said they want to revisit uh, if we should become a EU member. No, we should not. No, we should not. But I think many of them are now leaning towards the positives of EU uh, in the light of the Ukrainian crisis. Also, the also the some, uh, some, <coughs> some of our political um, parties wants us to uh, exit NATO. <laughs> what? <And> so, <laughs> at this time? <laughs> not, not at this time, but when when uh, things uh, go back to the normal, we should um, drop NATO and start a uh, Nordic alliance with Sweden, Finland, and Denmark. 
do you know how fucking weak that is compared to NATO? Yep. <laughs> 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 I think you even voted for uh, one of the uh, these political uh, parties. Uh, th- oh no. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it was SV. <Yeah. laughs> oh, no. <laughs> He's one of the parties who pushes for uh, a Nordic alliance. Yeah, that's uh, unsettling. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well. but, uh, but now we are watching the Ukraine war. And we are like, you, what are they doing for them? Well, it's NATO who is doing everything. <laughs> so, fuck you. No, you are... Posting sanctions, but <coughs> that was not what we were supposed to talk about. That was just uh, side noting. Yeah, that. we were we we were <coughs> showing and telling. Showing and telling. Yeah, we, we should have an intro for show and tell segments. From the next episode, I will make that happen. Okay. Or I, I will make the, the the intro theme, and Bjorn will make it happen in the episode. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Junior, what do you have? Fuck. Are you supposed to get to me right now? I thought you... Uh, 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 if you're ready. Sure, 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 sure. Um, <laughs> do you know who this is? Uh, I bet you call her best girl. It's yeah, of Stein- course. It's, it's, from, it's from Steins Gate. Yeah. Oh, shit, you knew. It's of best course. girl from Steins Gate. Of course you knew. And we love her. <laughs> he do was her? playing her this summer, remember? <laughs> <laughs> She got thigh high. She's lovely. She's the best girl. Uh, I love her with my whole heart. <coughs> and this girl has uh, a name, I presume. Uh, Kirisu. <laughs> Kirisu. Yeah, that's how he, he says it in the anime. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's a Japanese way. <coughs> it's a Japanese way, yeah. and it's really. It's just more that I love the show Steins Gate, so go and watch it. Uh, you bought this yourself, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'd be surprised if you were sponsored or anything. <laughs> like, fuck. It could, it could have been a gift. It could have been a gift. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who gifted me expensive anime figures? So that's an anime figurine from the anime uh, Steins Gate. Yeah, and she's the best girl, and you love her. Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> it's an old show. I don't believe you can watch it anywhere right now. <laughs> can't stream it? No, but you can get it if you really want to. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can watch season two on Crunchyroll, but uh, <laughs> that's like... really bad. Yeah, why bother with... Uh, Crunchyroll uh, merged with uh, Wakanim recently, didn't they? Uh, no Funimation. Both of them, I, I think. Heard they... Because both of them yeah. are owned oh. by Sony, I believe. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because by default, Wakanim is installed on the PlayStation consoles, at least four you, and five. Yeah, yeah. You can watch Steins Gate at Disney Plus and Hulu. Okay. At Disney Plus? Yeah, I believe so. Not in Norway, <laughs> at the very least. <laughs> mm. And uh, just a little side note: if you're supposed to watch the show, watch until episode twenty-three, and then you watch season two, and then you watch. Episode 24. Of season 1. Yes. So you hold off the very last episode of season 1. Yes. Watch up to episode... The very next to the last episode. Yes. And you watch season 2. Yes. And then then you watch the final episode of season 1. Yes, because... um, Okay, so... (laughs) I feel like a a lot of animes and series needs to have a... How to watch guide? <laughs> no, no, you can you can watch it uh, as it came out chronologically, but uh, the timelines and everything will make uh, they they made season two because of the demand, right? Okay. And Pe- people got confused of... with the last episode or something. No, 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 they didn't get confused, but it's uh, uh, it's another storyline completed completely, another timeline you could say. Which brings everything neatly together. So watch Steins okay. Gate, people. <laughs> and if you yeah, can, it's, if I've you seen it. If you it's can't really stream good. it, just uh, research uh, what sound the cat makes in Japan and Google that, and there you will find the anime. Um, yeah. <laughs> I have a... Um, <coughs> 
<laughs> inside joke there, but I get what you mean. <laughs> uh, I have uh, multiple objects. Again, it's the same object. Though. Yeah, you have a lot to show. Yeah, so. yeah, I have a lot to show. I even know what. Meanwhile, to show. I have a lot to tell. I know what to show next week, even. I'm, I'm prepared. Um, but I got uh, this an Android figure of Triss Marigold ah. from the Witcher series, <laughs> and I got this um, for Christmas uh, by uh, Junior. Thank you, Junior. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> yeah, and you have to say it's much better than a fucking pop tart. I just hate pop tarts. I love that the one you gave me, but <laughs> did I give you pop tarts? Yeah. No. Not this year, but some year. Uh, some year. Are they like... called pop tarts? Like small yes. bodies, big head, like that yes. style of <laughs> minifigure. Yes. That's a pop yes. tart. Okay. Yes. Okay. No, that's not a pop tart. That's a pop figure. Isn't that all? <laughs> I, I, don't I don't know. That's why pop, I'm asking. Pop tart is something you eat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. It's, it's just a pop, a pop, pop figure. figure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, but this is the Nendroid figure I got from Junior uh, this Christmas. Uh, and it's uh, a major character in the Witcher games. A uh, slightly big character in the TV show and the books. Uh, these are fairly expensive, though, Junior. Yes. Uh, that's why I asked if your was a gift from someone. <laughs> because it could have been, as I have gotten uh, a figure... Um, in a gift, but uh, th that's not the only gift I've received from the Witcher series, because another friend of mine uh, gave me three, uh, three Mary Gold <laughs> oh, in, in, in another figure. <laughs> that looks fucking expensive. <laughs> These are not too expensive, no. Oh, what? Okay. Uh, they're around the $50, $60 mark. Well, that's reasonable. That, yeah. <laughs> that's the same as uh, an Android. As ah, yeah, but the uh, size difference, though. Yeah, you wouldn't yeah. imagine <laughs> those two things costing the same. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but of course, as a Witcher collector, I uh, had to buy uh, buy the same figure uh, by myself as well, with the alternative <laughs> skin from the games. <laughs> it's a little more revealing, uh, but uh, I like it. It's Do nice. you like Hello. Witcher, perhaps? What? Do you like Witcher, perhaps? <laughs> or if I like Witcher. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Witcher. Oops, oi, oi. No, don't drop her. <laughs> Tris. D different figure in it. It's the pop figure. Because, <laughs> 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 of course, I have the pop figures as well. Uh, I just learned there are coming in new ones now. This is the f original set. Or she is from the original set. Uh, so, uh, there are more mm. inbound. Uh, but yeah, Tris is my uh, my girl in uh, in the Witcher series. Understandable. Yep. Because I uh, like redheads. Yep. As as, uh, as you do, dude. Yeah, who doesn't? That's uh, <laughs> fucking awesome. So that's my uh, show for this week. It's uh, Tris Marigold from the Witcher series. Yeah, quite a lot to show. Quite a few of them. Yeah, but I will make them in four? one picture. Yeah, yeah, that's yes, that's the four. Yeah, yeah four. With a pop one. Yeah, uh, I just had to uh, look over in my uh, glass cabinet to see if we had any more. <laughs> if you had any more. Because <laughs> I have a lot of uh, Witcher figures in the glass cabinets, but uh, not more of Triss. <laughs> well, uh, you said Redhead. I got an own section now for Redheads in my glass cabinet of anime figures. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Bjorn has a selection. Bjorn has a selection of redheads as well on Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Sounds about right. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> Moving on, Junior. Do do you keep, do you keep them on uh, the Google Docs or a Notepad or? Just a I have, them, have them all memorized. <laughs> <laughs> That's the super kinda, secret library. <laughs> they're on the top suggestion list on Pornhub for Bjorn. <laughs> it's <laughs> different red right girls. Somehow they just know what I like. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Weird that. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, well, if we're done with this topic, I uh, will just uh, move swiftly on. Yeah, and I do wrote so. uh, name the letter, and it's as simple as as that. What letter what? is this? <laughs> A. Björn. What letter is that? Yeah, uh, what I have written here. What letter is it? Uh, I would say A. Yes, it's an like A. Like the first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, why did that take you like 20 minutes? <laughs> I just wonder, it would seem so obvious he it thought, might have he been a trick was question. Set, setting it up. No, but just, just say the name of the letter. A. What does this say? Apple? It says Apple. What does this say? Hate. <laughs> no, this says hate. And what's this? And it's just T too much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> was, it's supposed eager. to be cat. I was eager. Yeah. Now let's let's go back. <clears throat> what letter was this again? A. A. What was the word again? Apple. Apple. <laughs> I think I know where you're getting at. <laughs> Are you catching on, Bjorn? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is it's this called? A. <laughs> <laughs> None of the fucking words <laughs> are pronounced with a. <laughs> let's 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 it's try them apple, with but... those. Yeah, let's try them with the uh, how you say a. That would be apple. Apple. Hate. Yeah, but it's not hat. <laughs> yeah, but instead of saying <laughs> how, how do you say hate then? <laughs> a. Hate, hate a. Hate a. Hate a. Hate a. Kate. Kate. <laughs> Kate. Kate, are we? Is this um, Australian? So, <laughs> so why yeah, isn't this no. just on uh, on a? Because oh, <laughs> we have uh, a letter in Norway which is called a, and it's basically yeah. an a uh, and an e combined. And if I had my fucking uh... yeah, you extend those three pronged e line horizontal lines out from the a. I, I believe he can, make, draw which this. would make a. I'm just trying to explain it while he tries to draw. Yeah. If he um, sounds like you already, this yay! Is there ah. we go. Ah. Uh, that's uh, that's a letter they should have <laughs> in America because all their words is a fucking ah. <laughs> yeah, ah. English. I think Apple. I saw this video about some uh, English teacher showing how inconsistent English really is with letters such as a. You pronounce it one way in one word and another way in another word, and you don't pronounce it at all in a third word, for example. It's like <laughs> so many inconsistencies. Like it doesn't fucking make sense and how people can claim that English should be the international language. Like, no, it, it should not have become so. <laughs> <laughs> but it is so. <laughs> but it is. It, yeah, it is. And it will keep on going. Uh, right. Uh, uh, at uh, this uh, point, yeah. Yeah, at I've got or, or Mandarin. <laughs> could uh, have been German. Could have been German. Could have been. <laughs> yep. Things had gone the other way. Uh, but no, in a way, we have uh, three more letters um, from the American alphabet or English alphabet. Because uh, we have the A. We have a letter called Ö, which is an O with a line through it. Uh, and we have an O, which is an A with a circle above it. Uh, like the A in Stargate, <laughs> for those who have watched that, <laughs> they basically have the O um, to represent um, the origin of the gate, which would be Earth uh, on our end. Uh, but uh, yeah. yeah, but uh, but uh, American and English in general um, uh, do have a lot more words with fewer letters than we do in Norway. I just pronounce them differently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you're supposed to get it. <laughs> yeah. You just have to learn each single word how they are uh, uh, pronounced. Like yeah, yeah. one yeah. word might be written with almost the exact same letters, but they're pronounced differently with one silent letter and a different sounding A, which is sounds like E, Ra. Like, who the fuck knows? There's no, like, consistency. Yeah, and, and then you have, you have, the, the, when you use the, um, E, um, uh, yeah, the, the E. Um, cause e? So, 
like mm. elephant or yeah, yeah. ice cream yeah, like elephant <laughs> um, e like elephant because like you, pr- you, pr- you pronounce that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eh, like we say in Norway for elephant, <laughs> elephant. <laughs> and how would you say elephant? The letter E, you say it E like ice cream. Not quite. Uh, e like e inside. Because yeah, in Norway, what letter the, the does I inside is start with? E. Yeah. And the E is sound E eh in Norway. Or in yeah. Norwegian. Uh, <clears throat> elephant, E. Eh. <laughs> but, but but then you say nice to meet you, and you have two e's <laughs> in that word yeah. instead of two eyes. <laughs> yeah, the language is fucked up. <laughs> yeah, the language is fucked up. Yeah, and Weird. and when we, when you end a sentence with plurals with a uh, y, it's e a s, right? Yeah, i e s. With, yeah. When you have a uh, plural form of word the that ends with Y, you yeah. are supposed yeah. to change it to I E S. Yeah, instead of just adding an S. Just up. E, just Y or S. <laughs> unless <Yeah>. it's <laughs> unless it's gay, because that's gays. No, that's gays with S. And guys, that's also with S. Yeah, uh, yeah, we. Uh, I think I get what you mean. It's, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's just weird. Yeah, the, <laughs> yeah, the language is fucked. They, they're, they're making rules, and then they're like, oh, what? No, this <laughs> word doesn't follow the rules. It's because it's all special rule. <laughs> a special yeah, that, rule for one special word. Yeah, that, have a lot that, of those special words that has their own special rules, <laughs> it doesn't, which yeah. doesn't follow the general rules. <laughs> yeah, and I I remember asking my English teacher about this, and he just laughed. And I was like, "What the fuck? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean?" <laughs> that means it's just how it is. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> yeah, get just it. like what <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, but well. I I imagine they made uh, made the language and they're like, no, no, it's not that way. You you cannot have it this way. I'm Sir Elton. I should be right here. It should be normal. Yeah. I don't quite get what you mean, but uh, but okay. I imagine some guy with a hat sitting there and he's like, no, I'm not wrong. It's just like this. And then he makes it the rule. Like this word gets a free pass. Mm, okay. Well, <clears throat> we've dr- drawn on yeah. a long time about this. Uh, Bjorn. Yes. He got an unpopular opinion. Yes. Which usually um, is uh, Junior's uh, segment. <laughs> <laughs> unpopular opinion that uh, would classify me as perhaps some would say a monster. Ooh. <laughs> so, <laughs> the, there was this time, I remember, uh, I used to work as an electrician in people's houses, visiting different people every there day. There was this time I used to... It was this li- time. It was last year. <laughs> yeah. Once upon a time. But I don't do it anymore. Visit people's <laughs> homes and do... No, Anyways, no, no. I was at someone's home. They were home because they were new, newly... Baked uh, parents. <laughs> newly baked parents. You know where newly I'm getting Newly baked. At. A newly yeah, born. Yeah, they were... They, they, yeah, they, they, had, they had a newborn. Yeah, the and they were like super newborns. excited. <laughs> it was like, ooh, we're having this love, lovely time. And ooh, here's the baby. Look, she's in the crib. And it's like, hey, come look at her. It's like, oh, yeah, sure. Showing courtesy and having looking at the baby. And it's this. It's this. They assume you to think because it's their baby. It's their, their, their precious little one. And like... It's their their everything. While me, I'm just a regular guy who comes to do some work in there. Is it a is it a given fact that I'm supposed to think that their that their baby is as cute as they believe it is? Because I was looking at that baby, it's like, yeah, yeah, that's real nice, real cute. <laughs> but meanwhile, I was like, I don't find that baby very cute at all. It's like, yeah, that's a little person. I was like, okay. 
can I get to work now? <laughs> like, but, that, but, was, that was what I was thinking. Is that your sentiment with every baby, or was this no, baby? No, it was this early? particular baby. <laughs> because, no, it, it was very, can I say it was very newborn. <laughs> it was a very young baby. It was like wrinkly and such. I, was like, I, don't, I don't know. It didn't seem cute. It was like, yeah, it's your little gold, I thought. But <laughs> I don't think it's particularly adorable cute. Was like, it because it was it's, a stranger? It would have been a fucking taboo to say so. I had to say like, "Oh, it's wonderful, it's cute." What a cute what if sex stopper goes... you have there! <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, come on, that's that's the the norm. You have to tell someone that their baby is adorable, nice, and cute. You can't be like, eh, "I don't like it." <laughs> and then you it's do like the classic that's... Gucci Gucci Goo. <laughs> Yeah, you have to be like all giggly and such when you see all babies, unless people, lest people get offended. It's like, you don't like my baby? Oh my god. Like, uh, I'm not genetically programmed to like your baby. I'm oh geneti- my god, you're genetically- such a monster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, you they will put keep a- these no, people they- up at night. <laughs> you. Oh, hello. They kept... Uh, it's a lot of effort making a baby, right? They yeah, at least, at, least, uh, <laughs> at least half a minute of work. Yeah, it's a lot of effort <laughs> <laughs> during the half a minute mark. <laughs> I, don't, oh, well, I don't think uh, the effort is in the making. It is in the giving birth uh, part. Yeah, but no. in all, yes, all seriousness... I was so tired after uh, my firstborn <laughs> was born. Damn it, I have never been standing for so long. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, get out of there! Get out of there! I want to get there too! <laughs> uh, and my girlfriend at the time, when she was like uh, squeezing my hand, is, this is your fault! <laughs> <laughs> okay, holy shit! <laughs> Sounds super dramatic. <laughs> holy shit. Sounds she, like she, a good she was, decision. She, she was in pain. <laughs> yeah, I fucking imagine. But, C- um, couldn't be in, in too much pain, though. Yeah, she just uh, she direct, directed it at me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you, you guys know what I mean. It's like, perhaps you as a human being are genetically modi- programmed to like and care for your own baby. You worship your own children more than anything in the world. Oh yeah, worship. But does that children. mean? Ah, well, you appreciate them. You love them. You love them more than anything in the world. But that doesn't mean that every other person around you should think the same. Most likely they don't. And you should accept that. And don't try to force this upon other people. The next time someone shows you, maybe you should just... uh, I have one of those at home as well. (laughs) (laughs) I've seen them before. (laughs) If it's someone I'm like somewhat socially close with i should try be like eh, i don't like it <laughs> <laughs> it's like moving on turn my back and go the other way <laughs> um but yeah babies are cute and fun and all but uh, i remember when my daughter was uh, not newborn but she had just learned to stand in her crib and that crib was uh, on the side of our bed because she was still so small so we didn't have her in her own room and uh, we were uh, getting on <coughs> because mm-hmm. we hadn't done so uh, after the birth, so it was about that time. Mm-hmm. And uh, we go at it, and at some point we just look to the sides, and there my daughter is standing, <laughs> holding in the bars <laughs> of the crib and watching, and that ruined <laughs> everything. <laughs> yeah, you came immediately. No. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that being your king, being <laughs> cucked, being cucked by your own children. Oh no! Oh no! I can imagine Thomas uh, like, here, here, hold the camera for me. Yeah. No. <laughs> Take a picture. Take a no, picture. no. <laughs> no, no. That, that ruined that evening. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I. I uh, yeah. yeah. I can see yeah. why. So, so, you, so you went to the bathroom. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, I'm saying it was uh, it was over <laughs> that night. <laughs> yeah, at the end. Well, 
Uh, topic. Speaking of uh, speaking of uh, breeding. Breeding? <laughs> yes, <laughs> breeding. <laughs> Breathing? <laughs> isn't, isn't sex the act of breathing? <laughs> <laughs> Making children. It's a transition, dude. <laughs> no, but that's what I'm so getting horrible. <laughs> Are we breathing races? We are breathing children. As we humans breed specific traits in dogs. Dog breeding. Which is what uh, humankind has done for hundreds of years. Uh, breeding forth traits that we humans like for some reason. Uh, which, more often than not, is not beneficial for the genetics of said dogs that are being breeded to have certain traits. Like uh, the English Bulldog and the English, let me just read this, the English Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Those two particular dog breeds, one of which is the English Bulldog, has a very, very squished face, which has been artificially bred to have a squished face, which leads it to have natural, like, breathing problems, can't, like, run properly because it'll suffocate, and, like, bone problems and joints and everything. And the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel also having several genetic problems with like uh, let me see heart condition chronic headaches eye diseases and joint problems in its bones so in Norway it's been uh, the what's it called the the tingra the justice system in Norway court has the, the, the Norwegian court has deemed it illegal to breed these dog races in Norway because these dog races are not living good lives. More, most of them are not because they're so genetically plagued by the traits that we humans have bred them to become. It's like this whole thing about dog breeding is just such mind-boggling to me why we continue to do this. It's like saying, like, hey, the, this brother and this sister, my two children, they have very short noses. I like this trait. <laughs> Let's make my son and daughter have another baby and see what happens with that baby. And lo and behold, the baby of my son and daughter, aka brother and sister baby, that one has an even shorter nose and has a squished face as well. Ooh, I like this trait. Let's breed more of these to have them even more squished faces, which leads to breathing problems and inbreeding, literally, literal inbreeding to promote certain physical traits, which we okay, all know okay. is not beneficial okay. for this Okay, species. stop. So. But okay, course. try to defend this. Try to defend this. No, I cannot <laughs> defend the dog breeding because that's uh, disgusting. But you will defend incest. No, but humans. I'm humans. <laughs> that's, that's different, my... Bjorn. That's different. <laughs> what about cow breeding and sheep breeding? We breed those for food. No, but we have bred uh, genetical uh, versions of sheep and cows oh, yeah, yeah. to gain more meat. You know? Yeah, it's sort of artificial. Yeah, it's yeah. it's artificial breeding. But not to the extreme levels that we have bred certain dog species, but dog races. But guess what? We're moving away from that as well. Uh, from we're moving what? away from the topic? No, no, no. The, the, the breeding of special cows and whatnot. Because it's, oh, yeah, it's yeah. bad for the environment, no! so we need normally bred cows, <clears throat> which will result in less meat in the stores. <clears throat> mm. Just as the chicken, which we talked about uh, on the Norwegian podcast. Yeah, you called it turbo chicken because yeah. that species of chicken is genetically, artificially bred to, to grow, grow super faster. Fast. Yeah. yeah, more meat. So yeah, that but we can have time. more meat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but they are genetically mutilated, right? No, no, mutilated, they are. Yes. <laughs> That's the word. <laughs> they are. They are artificially uh, bred, bred by yeah. humans, like selectively yeah. artificial. Yeah. And then they're super no. fed <laughs> to grow. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, but but I want my cows to be more meaty than the less, you know? Yeah, I don't think your meat will be less juicy. Uh, but the, No, but there will yeah, be the, less of it. <clears throat> there will be less of it, yes, because they grow slower, so you can't kill them off as fast as you're doing now to make meat out of it. <clears throat> I call bullshit. Um, yeah. So it's all in the name of the environment, <clears throat> which will uh, make us eat less uh, meat in the, the future. The environment and the welfare of the the animals, the animals yeah. I guess. Uh, oh. uh, which brings us back to your dogs, <clears throat> especially your dogs. pets, especially um, pets that you keep for their lifetime. So, so the Norwegian court oh. uh, ruled that. Uh, you're not allowed to breed these uh, breeds in <laughs> in Norway. Yes, the you have English a... Bulldog and the uh, Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Don't breed them in Norway. <laughs> Buy them from England. <laughs> That's what you're saying. Or import. From... Import the dogs. Don't breed them. <laughs> import them. Ah, still supporting the problem, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but if you want that dog breed, you have to import them, because you can breed them in Norway. Yeah, I, I guess you would have to, but that's still supports and, and, and should we really uh, be, be um, uh, killing off uh, an entire race of dogs? <laughs> killing off or letting <laughs> them perish by natural causes? Yeah, yeah, but letting the species die off i don't know yeah but you will be the entire life that dog have you will prevent it from having sex as well <laughs> it will be taking away some of their <laughs> primary well, needs uh, dude a lot of people do that by uh, castrating so yeah um, yeah. yeah we do yeah. i like yeah, that do. being done to cats as well um yeah. <clears throat> but yeah time is ticking well, and that was um, just uh yeah, we should move on to get uh, at least. No, we, or we, we, are we? We, we're, uh, <laughs> we're, we're wrapping up. Um, oh yeah, we're one hour ten. I, I will just quickly mention because I wrote it down when we started, and I wrote down Craig because <clears throat> this is a super mm. small topic. But uh, a week ago, we had some trouble with Craig, our uh, bot. Who is Craig? Is, yeah. the, the bot which uh, records our podcast uh, as a backup solution. It's a bot you can invite to your. Um, discord server and you can invite it into the channel where we're talking <clears throat> into the chat and it will record <clears throat> everything uh, we say uh, but the bot has been uh, unreliable many times it disconnects it stop uh, recording and whatnot uh, so that's why we don't use him as the main record just a backup solution just uh, a side note, he has already disconnected unexpectedly from this call today as well. Yeah, and, yeah. He, did, and yep. he did so last week, and uh, Bjorn uh, <laughs> couldn't get him to leave the channel as well, because something was wrong, so it was just in the channel, doing nothing, no recording, no nothing, it was just being there, taking up space, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yep. Uh, but Bjorn found the solution. <clears throat> yeah. He kicked him from the chat. Yeah. <clears throat> and um, on Friday... A couple of days ago, we did the Norwegian podcast, and Bjorn tried to invite the bot into the chat again to uh, be backup, but the bot just would not come to the chat and record. So we figured, ah, fuck it. <coughs> fuck Craig. <laughs> He's an imbecile. <laughs> and he'll, be with, be, he'll be back with us for Tipsy Wednesday. Yeah. So today, Surely. Bjorn tried to invite the bot twice. The bot didn't join. So I thought, huh, let me try it. Maybe I can get it working. And I didn't. Um, and then Bjorn got talking and I heard the word kick or, or, or ban or something or, or Junior suggested it. So I looked through the, um, the members list and the bot was gone. So a week ago when Bjorn tried to get him to leave the specific chat, he just kicked the entire bot from our Discord server <laughs> entirely. So I had to set him up again yeah. to invite the bot and name it and give it access to the <laughs> chat and whatnot. And then he disconnects when he's there. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker. <laughs> he's so unreliable. Fucking useless. Well. But with that note, <laughs> if you guys, our listeners, have anything you want to tell us, ask us, give us hate, give us love. Whatever, send us a mail at tipsywednesday at gmail.com. Uh, write to us in our Facebook group, Tipsy Wednesday, or join us if you haven't joined. Follow us on Instagram, 
Twitter and join our Discord server and follow us on YouTube where you can see us when you can see us show you our um, show and tell items uh, but of course if you don't I will post the pictures so yeah <laughs> with that good night good night, night.